Hey, welcome back to the channel. How the devil are you? Okay. Okay, I'm going to make this video today because I've been getting a lot of questions on a video I made a few years ago. When these Echo Studios came out, I did a video saying how to connect your TV. It's been quite popular and a lot of people have been asking me questions on how to connect these speakers to your television. So I just want to clear up a few things and answer some of the questions I've seen in the comments all in one video if I can. I'm bound to miss something, I know I will, but I'll try and cover everything I remember, okay? So firstly, Dolby Atmos. If you want to get Dolby Atmos, there's only a couple of ways you can do it. The Echo Studios are capable of Dolby Atmos. The only way to get Dolby Atmos is to connect them wirelessly. You can't get it through a Toslink lead or an optical lead, you can't. It's to connect them wirelessly to a Fire Stick 4K or the new Fire Stick 2020 HD or 1080 and the second generation Fire Cube. That's the only ways you can do it, okay? The first generation Fire Cube is not compatible with Dolby Atmos. The older Fire Sticks are not compatible with Dolby Atmos. And the Fire TVs with it built into them is also not compatible with <laughs> Dolby Atmos. So madness really, but it is crazy. But that's the only three ways you're going to be able to do it. Basically, Amazon wants you to buy more of their products. There you go. Okay. You can also connect uh, an Echo 4th Gen, an Echo 3rd Gen uh, to your TV via these devices wirelessly. Okay, so that's that cleared up. But you obviously don't get Dolby Atmos. You will get digital sound, but not Dolby Atmos. You can also connect all the speakers by the Echo Dot to your TV. Uh, so the Echo Studios, you can connect via Toslink, okay? But there's only one cable going to that to the TV, so you can only have one Echo Studio. You can't have two, okay, if you're connected via cable. And that's that cleared up. Uh, later on in the video, in my next video, I'm gonna try an experiment to see if I can try and get two of these speakers connected to the TV. And I'll explain it a bit more later in the video, okay? Then you can connect this with a three and a half mil audio jack. And I've got the leads just here. I was gonna show you them, but I forgot. <laughs> okay, there's the three and a half mil cable, three and a half mil audio cable, and there's a Toslink to mini Toslink cable there. And all you do with that one, to, to, to connect this to your TV, you plug it into your headphone socket and you've gotta change it from line in to line out on the app, which I'll just show you now. So you go to devices, which I'm already in, and I'm looking for the Echo 4th, there we are, Martin's Echo 4th, and you scroll down, okay, and just so you should have aux in, auxiliary in, I've got it already set on line in. Now what line out is, is that you can connect this to another speaker that doesn't have she or she not be named on there, and turn it into a she or she not be named speaker, capable speaker, so you can have it as line out. But if you want sound going to it from your headphones, you have it as line in, so it accepts a signal coming into it. So you plug it into your headphone socket and plug it in. But, you can use the but, this TV doesn't have a headphone socket, so I can't do it. But many TVs do still have a headphone socket. Okay, that's that cleared up. The Echo Dot only has a line out. It doesn't have a line in. So with the Echo Dot, you can plug it into a, a bigger speaker, and have it so we can turn that bigger speaker into a she or she not be named capable speaker, but you can't have a line in. You also can't use the speaker at all for um, your home theater. So that's that cleared up. Okay. To set these speakers up as your home theater, you go into your app, you press plus in the top right hand corner, you go to combine speakers. It has changed a little bit over the years. Uh, and then you go to home cinema and then you'll see the list of speakers that are compatible with the home theater and as you can see the echo dot is not compatible and then as soon as i highlight the one of these speakers if see if i highlight the echo plus you can see all the others disappear because you can't pair them both together so this is crucial that you need to know this 
You can only pair an Echo Studio with an Echo Studio, an Echo Fourth Gen with an Echo Fourth Gen, an Echo Dot with an Echo Dot, an Echo Third Gen with an Echo Third Gen. You can't pair that with that. Okay, you just can't do it. It won't. It won't. It just as you can see on this app, on this here, it won't let you do it. Okay, so I'll unhighlight that. But if I press one of the Echo Studios, it keeps the other Echo Studio highlighted, so I can pair that. Same with stereo pairing, okay? You need to have the same speaker. And again, it's Amazon going, buy more of our speakers. Buy more, buy more. Look, Jeff needs more money. He's skinned as it is. He needs to buy more yachts, okay? Give him the cash. <laughs> so now I've, can, and now I've got these two uh, together. I click next. It asks me if I want to change them left or right. Nah, I, that's okay with me. I'm just giving you a demonstration, okay? Home cinema, I'm going to name it. And then we're going to go to, uh, it's in my kitchen, so there you go. Right? And then I'll play the preview if you want. She's up to, I'm sure you've seen it before in other videos where you play the preview. And the good thing is with your, with your remote now, it will control both speakers, okay? So you can turn them both up and down. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, there you go, you got the gist of it. So I hope I've covered everything there. Uh, sorry if I haven't, please, you know, I do read the comment section, so comment below if you've got any other queries. Um, someone did ask me about, uh, they've got an Apple TV box, uh, can they connect it via an optical cable to this and get Dolby Atmos? The answer is no, okay? If you wanted to get Dolby Atmos with an Apple TV box, you would get a HomePod, okay, and connect it wirelessly. That's how it works. All these companies want you to buy their equipment with their kit. If you're in the Apple universe, then you have to stick with the HomePod, okay? Not that the HomePod's a great speaker. Not quite as intelligent and smart as these speakers, but great sounding speaker. So I just want to go through my plan for those of you who haven't got uh, a Fire Stick or a, a second generation Fire Cube, etc. Okay? And you just want to watch normal TV but have two speakers going. So I've got a plan, a cunning plan. A cunning plan. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so what, I'm gonna, what I've ordered is what's called a, a Toslink or, or optical cable splitter. So it's one cable goes in and two cables come out. So you plug the optical cable into your TV and two cables come out to each speaker. Now, you're not going to get the stereo. I admit that you're not going to get the stereo. 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 You're not going to get the stereo. But you will have two speakers going at the same time. Hopefully, I don't know if this is going to work. Um, it's important, what I've ordered is not a passive splitter. Now, a passive splitter just works by plugging them in and they kind of run themselves through the power of the cable. And not, this is dodgy doing this because what you're going to get is maybe a loss of signal, maybe some audio sync issues and things like that. So what I've got is a powered cable. It's powered through USB because the last thing you want is another plug to plug into your but you know extension on the extension on the extension so i've got a, a, a power one for usb plug the usb into your tv bam bob's your uncle and uh, so hopefully that's going to come soon uh, it is christmas so you know it could take a while <laughs> knowing these christmas deliveries do take a bit longer so as soon as i get it i'll set it up and show you how, if, it, if if or not whether it works okay don't know we'll have to see Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't, why haven't you? Are you mad? Okay, thanks for watching. Give this video a nice like. Merry Christmas and I'll see you soon.